you guys, Aaron here, attempting my syringe tokens opening. This wheel slash event thing really literally started like half an hour ago as I'm recording this. So how it works is there's this wheel here, obviously. Odds are kind of crappy for the tunes, 1% chance, but 99% chance for collection items. So you can only get the bloody shirts from this. Now you can trade in the bloody shirts in the museum. I think it's 20,000 bloody shirts to get Dr. Stevens. I think it was like 12,000 shirts to get Mercer. I don't remember the exact number for Mercer though. And then there was two other museum collections for trainers. I think it was like 2,000 bloody shirts to get like, it's a crate where you have like a chance to get 10 Benedicts, 10 four-star trainers, 10 three-star trainers, and 10 two-star trainers. And then there's one for 200 bloody shirts only. So that one was 2,000 bloody shirts. There's another one for 200 bloody shirts where you get a, the same crate, except instead of 10 of each trainer, you only get one. So you can farm trainers in this, I guess. I don't know what the odds are for the crate, though. I don't think they were posted, or I just didn't look at them at all. But I'm just curious to see like how many bloody shirts are going to drop, because I actually want Dr. Stevens. I think he could still be useful. So he'd still be nice to have. But will I get them? I don't know. I have 21 pulls here. The tokens are actually fairly cheap, I'd say. So you can get them using coins, because there's a which I did. There's a coin bag. I think it was like 599 coins or 499 coins. But you could get a chance at like 20 pulls, basically. It was a 33% chance for each. It's a bag, obviously, with the tokens in it. With three different amounts, a 33% chance to get each amount. So odds aren't horrible. I think it was like 20,000 tokens, 5,000 tokens, and 2,000, or something like that. And then there's a cheaper bag for 199 coins, where I think the highest amount, it's the same type of bag with 33% chance to get each thing with three items in the bag, or three different amounts of tokens, I mean. But I think the highest amount on that one is only like 5,000. Then you can obviously buy it in the offer section. I think there's an offer for $1.39 Canadian for 2,000 tokens. Six ninety nine for five thousand tokens, and then twenty seven ninety nine for I think it was twenty five thousand tokens, or twenty thousand. I think it's twenty five thousand. So honestly, the tokens aren't even that expensive. I mean, like, it really depends if it's worth it or not on like how many bloody shirts drop. Now, if you don't have Mercer, I guess like he'll be useful. I mean, he's usually used for one of the Red Velvet Cake collections. Well, I think he was in the past. I don't know if he's been renewed yet. Because it seems like they're going through a cycle of tunes with the Red Velvet Cake collections. And Mercer was in one of the first few Red Velvet Cake collections. Hopefully it gets used again. I know Dr. Stevens is in the cake collections. So I want him for that, obviously. But mainly because like, I think he'd actually be useful. Because obviously his active skill, super useful. Pair him up with a command tune. Taunt and pair three enemies for one turn. This character recovers from disarm. Up to two teammates gain 60% AP. The two teammates gain 60% AP is pretty OP for being turn one. Which is pretty insane. And then if he doesn't get disarmed, which... I don't have a disarm resist mod yet, but I'm working on it. So you put disarm resist on him. He'd be super annoying. Now I think exhaust is the one that really messes him up the most. I think Exhaust is the one where if a tune ga like, gains AP from an AR or active skill, they take like, damage based on how much AP they gain or something. So pretty much he's dead if you're facing like a Lao Po team or something. But there's not too many Exhaust tunes out there. And I think there's also like, Exhaust Resist now too, so... We'll see where we can pair him up. But still, super useful tune. Mainly for actually being able to use him, and also for the Red Velvet Cake collection. 21 pulls here. If there's a decent amount of shirts I drop, maybe I'll end up spending money on this wheel. But if it's like going to be like not more than... If it's going to be like like the Red Velvet Cakes in the last wheel I did, in the Halloween token wheel, where like the highest amount was like 53 I got. Because you need 20,000, so we'll see. I'm not sure if these tokens or the bloody shirts are going to be offered in the uh, attorneys or anything. Doesn't seem like it, I doubt it. It's only a week long wheel, so I don't know. But let's do the first 10 pulls here, let's see what we get. Expecting a lot of bloody shirts, hopefully. 60, okay. 99, 111. 
another 90. Okay, 2,500. So they drop, okay. You either get a really low amount or you get a lot. I wonder if 2,500 is the highest though. Okay, interesting, interesting. 2,500. Okay. So, is that the highest? I don't know. I don't know. But we were getting, like, you need 20,000 for the Dr. Stevens. So, like, it's a lot. I'm, what, over a tenth of the way there, basically? Let's see if we can get a higher amount. Maybe straight up 20,000 was a drop. That'd be pretty cool. Another 2,500. We're at 5,000 now. Plus whatever these little bits we're getting. Uh, okay, there's a bunch of low amounts again. We did get another 2,500 though. So we're at what? Probably close to 5,500 right now, I'd say. Probably more, maybe closer to 6,000. Probably. So what, we're over a quarter of the way there now. We only have one more pull left. I'm not really expecting much from this pull. I don't know. I don't know if this is worth spending money on. I just don't know. It's hard to call. It really depends. If they start giving away these bloody shirts and whatever for like in like milestones or something, and I get close to getting the Dr. Stevens, maybe I won't mind spending money to finish it off, the collection. But we'll see. And at the same time, you have to think, like, S-Class tunes are so, like, overpowered. And, like, he's not going to be, like, super useful in, like, a couple of months. But we'll see if they can give us some uh, free bloody shirts or free tokens or something in the tourneys. I don't know. I don't know. I think there's only, like, what, there's a solo level up right now. I think there's supposed to be another a, a solo survival road and then a, another solo level up. I think, or something like that. And then probably some faction journeys. Maybe they end up giving away these tokens or whatever in the faction journeys. I would assume, maybe, I don't know. Hopefully you don't replace them with the S-Class items though. Because that would suck, because still, S-Class items are still better than this. Overall, kind of a meh kind of wheel I'm feeling right now. I don't know. Maybe like you're guaranteed 2,500 every 10 pulls or something. Maybe, I don't know. I wish they posted the odds for specific amounts. Because I put 2,500 twice there in 21 pulls. So did I get like really lucky there? And maybe that's actually hard to do? Or is that like pretty normal? Like every 10 pulls you get 2,500 or around 10 pulls or something? Hard to say. Because it only just says 99% chance for the collection item. So we'll never really know. But I'm curious, if you did push for this wheel, let me know in the comments below. I mean, you could get lucky and just spend like 100, or spend like 500 coins or 599 coins and get 20 pulls easily. If you're assuming you get the pulls in that crate or you buy that crate. So I don't know. If you did pulls for this in the comments below, let me know what you guys got. Did you guys get higher than 2,500? Did you guys even pull the 2,500 and how many pulls did you do? I'm curious to see. But thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.